Uh, Shay family, this is Armand Rose, always trying to bring you the truth. Um, first name, first man, sending you guys positive energy. Let's dive right into this. So, I don't even know how many days ago was this. Was this four days ago? I was like, Jesus was a drunk homosexual hobo, proved the author, and your Bible wrong. So, um, there's rules to this, right? <clears throat> As I evolve, you must evolve with me, or I, I'm not responding to people like I used to. So you can't inbox me and ask me what's my purpose about for doing this because I've given you guys my purpose. If you see right here, so if you want to know why I talk negatively about the Bible? Go watch this. I've already. I give you guys the rules and regulations of certain things, and then you still don't follow them. I'm not going. I'm going to ignore you. You can't inbox me and ask me what's my purpose. I've already given you my purpose. I've already told you my purpose. And if you, you know, if you would read, if you would read. When I talk to you, I will tell you my purpose. I'm trying to trigger y'all to read this evil ass book. I'm trying to trigger y'all to read the evil ass book. So what's my purpose? My purpose is to trigger you to read. My purpose is when I say something, I have proof of what I'm saying. He was a, wine, a homeless wino. What did I say? A homeless, what did I say? He was a drunk, homeless, homosexual hobo. So I proved what I said, that he was a habitual drinker of alcohol. He was a wine dipper. These are the, these are the two that I proved that he was a man that consumed alcohol. He was a wine dipper. He was a drunk. So using the Bible, that's in Matthew, which one, I don't want to click on it and lose my little space. But y'all see it. So what's my purpose? My purpose is to trigger y'all to read the book. I tried to trigger you, saying that your your Jesus was a drunk, homeless, homosexual hobo. Prove your author of the book wrong. And I'm proving that he is an alcoholic, a drunk, right here. That's straight out the Bible. So, trying to trigger you Christians to read and think. So I shouldn't get I shouldn't get <laughs> I shouldn't get any messages about why am I doing this. I, 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 I'm I'm so direct, man, that I guess people don't. You know, this is what always I tell you guys. It kills me about you know you guys when you read something how you. You know, I'll never connect with certain people because they don't, they don't, it, it's not sinking in. How can you read something and, and the information not sink in? It, it, it amazes me. <clears throat> so, I'm just trying to show y'all that Jesus was a homeless hobo. Where did he live? What was his address? What was his address? You know, I put a black thing up there. What, what, what was his address? Where was his house at? All the wondering he did in, this, in these lands. Where was his house at? Huh? You can't find one. You can't find his address. That's why I didn't want to click on that stuff. Because I knew I was going to my, lose my place. Where, where, where was his house? Nowhere. He has no house. You, ask, you, you, you Google it. You search it. You look in the Bible for an address, they don't have one. So, therefore, he was homeless. Okay, he didn't have a house. Okay, so, once again, that's killing two birds with one stone. He was a homeless hobo. A hobo means he was a wanderer. If you know the story of Jesus, all he did was wander around. He did not have a home address. So, what's my, what's my post? Your 
Your Jesus was a drunk. We already proved that he was a drunk. He was homeless and he was a hobo. Now, today is to prove this right here, that he was a homosexual. Okay. And, 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 and like I said, prove the author of your book wrong. You know, it's not my words. But y'all know who the author of y'all book is, right? King James, right? Those are his favorite three male lovers. And I want to say one of these cats was even his cousin. I want to say this cat right here was his cousin. And if you do some research on your on your 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 orchestrator, aka author of your Bible, you'll realize that all of this stuff is true. This is this the I'm leaving it on here so you guys can read it. I ain't reading it for you. But that's that's the author of you guys' book. So he was frustrated because, you know, he was openly gay. He was he was out there doing his thug thizzle. He was out there, hey man, if he saw if he saw a man that he liked, he went after them. You know, but he was, you know, this is this is one of his quotes. The king was, like I just said, he was blunt and unashamed of his love for Buckingham and compared it to the love, to, to compared it to Jesus' love of John. So let's go back and we'll see. What, what are you talking about, Edwin? Um, did they even talk about Buckingham? I know I had one with the names on it, but I didn't, I didn't get that one, so don't worry about it. Buckingham was... <clears throat> one of the guys, the Earl of Buckingham. And y'all see right here. I love the Earl of Buckingham more than anyone else. And more than you who are a symbol. So he was talking to people. This was a this was like, you know, a big speech for him. And then he was basically, you know, if you if you find this speech, because Here's what I try to tell y'all, man. They change in information all the time. So I used to could find this speech in, in PDF voice me uh, message. You could find it all of it written down, but now you can't find it as much. But I want to show you the bottom of it, right? He, like I said, he's professing his love for this man. And he said, you guys cannot condemn me for this. You can't be, you know, you know, you can't say that I'm wrong for this. He said, because Jesus Christ did the same. So we, we got proof that that your boy was gay. He liked men. And, you know, he, he was bisexual. He liked men. And he had love for a man more than he did for women. And he said, he told y'all. He said, for Jesus Christ did the same. And therefore, I cannot be blamed. Christ had John. I have George. Christ had John, I have George. And we, you know, I I, I don't know, man. I, I like going for the kill shots when I talk about stuff with you guys. So there it is, man. Once again, I'm going to show you my post. What's my post? Your Jesus was a drunk, homosexual, drunk, homeless, homosexual hobo. Like I said, prove the Arthur and your Bible wrong, and you can't. So this is why I do things like that, but what I wanted you guys to do, I wanted to trigger you to read the book and think, read the book. You won't read the book. You won't read books. You won't read any information. You won't, you won't take the time to go study something that we shouldn't even be, wouldn't be, shouldn't be in. We shouldn't be involved in this. Why should we be involved in, okay, so let me ask y'all this, all y'all Christians, why should y'all be involved in gay bashing so much? It ain't your business who somebody else is fucking. But if you are really truly concerned about who's fucking, talk about your man Jesus. Tell your man Jesus. Hey man, like I said, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, one day, you know, when I have time, time, I'll try to find this whole speech again, right? Because he spoke to the people and he was basically, you know, 
Like, hey man, this is normal shit. This is what this is what I do, man. This is what I like doing. These are my lovers. These are my lovers, man. Y'all can't y'all can't y'all can't condemn me and, and and talk bad about me because I got I got male lovers that I love the Earl. Y'all can't condemn me. Why? Because he said in my own behalf. Not to, look, it's not a thought to be defected. It's not a defection. For Jesus Christ did the same. Therefore, I cannot be blamed. Christ had John, I have George. This is the author. This is the author of your book. This is the man that says, hey, I like, I like men. Ain't nothing wrong with me having some men. And I think this is the, one of these catch right here is the Earl. I think this is the Earl. Like I said, I, I, I grabbed, I pulled the wrong picture up because it had their names up here. And the dude was so, he was so like, I want to say it was George that he had, uh, that he stayed in the house and old boy would, had a secret chamber, the uh, secret passageway to go from his bedroom to old boy's bedroom. And he would just, he would be there every night on him. And, 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 and what's so crazy was not only did he have like lovers like that, but he would invite, you know, good looking, handsome men over there and then basically go in there and do what he do to them. So y'all got to read about these cats, man. Y'all just can't be running around here for the age of technology <clears throat> and say, you know, I want to follow Jesus. Uh, Jesus is my Lord. For what? So you, you, you're falling around a drunk, homeless, homosexual hobo as your savior. Once again, you're following a drunk, homeless, homosexual hobo as your savior. <clears throat> Once again, you're following a drunk, homeless, homosexual hobo as your savior. Like I said, prove the author of the book and your Bible wrong. I, I showed you proof of everything that I said in here. Every Everything that I said Jesus was, I've shown you proof. The author of your book provides it, and your book provides it. So once again, I'm not saying that these people can't follow their religion and what they want to do. I'm asking you guys, why are you following it? Why are we following it? Why, are we, why do we read this book and we're so indoctrinated in this shit and we, we, we too afraid to leave it alone? Why? Please take time and read this and go over this before y'all go to church, man, and, and ask, your, ask your pastor, why are we following this drunk, homeless, homosexual hobo around? Why? All right, man. Like I said, I do this because I love y'all, man. It's up to y'all to read. Once again, Edwin, 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 don't inbox me. Why do you do these things? I'm trying to trigger you Christians to read and think. I said it two or three times, right? I told you what I'm trying to do. I was blunt with what I'm trying to do. I ain't trying to trick you. I ain't trying to be slick with you. I'm, tr I'm being blunt. I start off with, I am trying to trigger you Christians to read and think. So don't inbox me about my message. If you want to know why I do it, I've already... I've already did a video. And I'm finna stop doing videos with my face on it. So, you know, you guys can, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Although, man, you guys, you guys seem to like want to attack the messenger and not get the message. So I just want to show the message. Do you understand why I'm doing it? Why, why I'm moving forward, why I'm not going to show my face so much is because you guys love to attack the messenger so much. I'm just going to show the message, okay? You guys have a great day. Hotel.